I'm Liz Welker, and this is my sister, Sam Spenlove. And we're so excited to be at Silhouette headquarters today to make a project with you. We are bloggers at prettylifegirls.com. You can follow us at Pretty Life Girls. And we do all kinds of crafts and DIY projects, party, kids crafts. We love tie-dye. We love silhouette. Am I missing anything? No, I, you did so good. Thank you, Sam. So <laughs> we're so excited. We have been very loyal to silhouette for several years. We have a wealth of silhouette projects on our blogs and on our blog, and we love making things with silhouette. And we're so excited. We're going to make these t-shirts today that we're wearing, these More Love t-shirts. This um, design was made just for this class, and we love the messaging, and we think it's so cute. And the fun thing that we're going to do today is show you how to layer. So if you haven't ever layered your HTV before, this is going to be a fun little primer for that. Yeah. So what you need to make it is a blank t-shirt. We just got these v-neck. We like them. They're a little more like feminine cut from Michaels. And I Michaels. saw them. I actually went and got this one yesterday, and there was a sell on all of their t-shirts right now at Michaels. So you'll want to go. I mean, I think the ones without a V were only like $2.99, mm. and then the ones with the V were $3.99. Well, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. You'll need heat transfer vinyl in two colors. Um, you can see there are lots of options. We did a light blue and a darker blue, a light green, dark green, light, like a pink and a red, and we're going to make a light purple and a dark purple today. You'll need some embroidery floss that matches your shirt and a needle and thread, your silhouette machine. We're using the Cameo 4 today, a mat, a weeding hook, a colored pencil, and other just basic craft supplies close at hand, just in case. So we are going to first go into Silhouette Studio. I'm going to share my screen and show you how to get this design. It's free. So what you do, if you go, let's see, I need to move that a little bit. OK, if you are in Silhouette Studio and you go to Store, it's going to pop up on the internet, the store here. And then we're just going to type more love in the search. And it's right here. Uh, OK, so we're going to tell you the ID. 341876. We already have it, but right here there would be a cart button that you would click. It would add to your cart. Then you would come up here and go through the checkout process. And at that point, you could come back to Silhouette, open your library, let's see, and it will be in there. We have a bunch, so I'm going to type more love to filter it and double click on it, and it's going to open right here. And you can see that it's separate pieces right now, so just to make it easier to reposition it, and rotate it, I'm going to click and drag to select all the pieces, right click and do group, and that brings it all together into one piece. And then I'm going to rotate it. It's sized, let's see, let me get that straight. It is sized to seven and a half ish inches, which is a great size for a shirt. Um, we use that same size on a large, a small, and a medium, but feel free to adjust it to whatever you want it to be. So at this point, we can cut it, but let's check over here our settings. So we have the machine set, the Cameo 4. We're going to cut ours. We like cutting on a mat. We just find it to be more fail-proof when you use a mat. Um, and then everything else looks good. We have the cut border on so we know that this is not going to go over the edge. And then we're going to come over here to the send panel. And you can see the red lines are where it's going to cut. Now since we have two different colors, we are going to cut by fill. And when you do that, you'll see here that it has your two colors, so your light pink 
and your darker color. So in this case, this would be the light purple and the darker purple. And we're gonna just cut one at a time. But first, what I'm gonna do is click on the first color just to make sure it's selected. And I'm gonna add a pause. And what that's going to do is once it cuts the first color, the lighter color, it's gonna pause the machine. We're gonna unload the first color and then load the second color and hit, there will be a resume button that will show you so that we can just keep cutting it. So let's stop sharing for just a second. Okay, and we're gonna load the mat. So we have our cutting mat here and we're gonna cut our light color first. Here, Liz, why don't you do it? I'd love to. <laughs> and we're just gonna line it up to the grid on the mat. This is a new mat and sometimes these mats can be too sticky at the very beginning. So sometimes what I do is I just push it down on the carpet and then pull it up just to make it a little bit less sticky. With HTV, the stickiness isn't usually an issue. It'd be paper. more like if you're doing cardstock mm -hmm. or something, yes. you'd want to do that. Okay, so we have this here and then we're gonna load it into our machine. And maybe we show doing a test cut. If yeah. You, when you're doing your first cut with whatever material, it's always smart to do a test cut just to make sure that it, it cuts. cuts through. Yeah, because there are sometimes the blades or whatever get a mind of their own. Yeah. As we have learned I mean, from our own technology. experience. Yes. Technology of any kind, we've all learned in this last year, yep. is a blessing and a curse, yep. a true curse sometimes. Yep. Yep, if any of you have watched any of our past classes. <laughs> if you were in our silhouette class last week. She's like, we if Cricket is here, struggles. so help me. Cricket has been along oh, for the yes. ride. There's a, there's a fun class attendee named Cricket, and we know her because her name is so unique. And she pops in every once in a while and is so supportive of us. But she watched us crash and burn last uh -huh. week. <laughs> she did. Oh, my okay. gosh. Okay, so we're going to go back to sharing. Let's see. I'm going to open this first. Share. Tell us where you're from. Where are you watching from? What have you been making lately? Are you making, are you starting your spring crafting? I want to know what you're making. Okay, so before we cut, we're going to double check that we have the right material. Heat transfer smooth. The right action cutting and the right... Uh, like the right blade. So there are different ones. There's a ratchet blade and a premium blade that you set the the depth of the blade manually, which we do like that to have a lot control. More control. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the auto blade today, which the software and machine set automatically, and we're going to we're going to check it as we go. Um, so on both of these colors, we've got the right thing here. I like, I, I have played with the vinyl that we're using today and I'm going to turn the blade up just a little bit um, just because sometimes every type of, there are a million brands and every brand cuts a little bit differently. The settings in here are a good starting point. So before we cut our whole design, we're going to do this test cut. So we just click this. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing again. And this is gonna cut just a little thing out of the corner. Okay. Okay, let me show. So right here in the corner, it will cut, and you should do this, like we said, anytime you're starting a new project, you should do this just so that you don't waste vinyl. You could Sorry, use the hook I just can't too. Get my finger. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you. And it just makes a little square. Jeez. Did it cut? It cut. I oh, okay. It cut, but I just am, I can't get in there. There we go. Okay. A little square with a triangle in the middle. Turn it. Yeah, there you go. And if it does that, you can feel confident that it's going to cut the rest of your project just fine. About 90% of, of the time. 90% of the time. You yeah. can feel confident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's still tech. You get it's it done. still not your own brain that you're controlling. It's... Yes. Okay. Okay. So back to the software again. We're jumping all over. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click send. We have our lighter color first, and we're going to cut it. 
oh, this is a good reminder. We need to mirror this because we're doing HTV. So um, I am going to click send mirrored. Now, if you are going to use vinyl, so for example, on here, you can see on the grid where this is go where this is going to cut. When you mirror it, it's going to mirror it over to this other side. So as long as you have a full square of vinyl, that is fine to click send mirrored here. Um, if you are using only nine inches of vinyl or something, and over here doesn't have vinyl, then what you can do is come back here to design, click the design, go object mirror flip horizontally and it will mirror it right where it is so that you can still just use that little bit of vinyl that you have. So we're going to go back here, click Barbara, send. Barbara, I see you nodding. Does that help? <laughs> Good. Or she okay. just already knows and, and she's maybe like, she knows, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, she says no. Okay. And tell us if we need to slow down. If any of you are new at this, let us know in the chat. Okay. So this thing came back up again. It knows to ask this when you're using heat transfer because you are automatically like flipping things. A lot of times if it's just a design, then you don't need to mirror it, but with text you do. So since we already mirrored it, we're gonna just click send as is, and it's gonna start cutting our first color over here. And I'm gonna just look, yeah, you can look at the auto blade and make sure the red line is at the number that you set. And that means that you will most you likely see. get a good cut. Okay. It's also St. Patrick's Day. Does anyone do anything fun for St. Patrick's Day? What did you do? Well, we do this thing where a leprechaun comes and marks us. We wake up with shamrocks on us. <laughs> and my kids get a kick out of that when they wake up and have a mark on their arm. We call it the lucky leprechaun mark. Cute. And they thought that was pretty fun. Last year, my little girl was nervous about that, though, because it meant that a strange thing had come in at night. <laughs> Speaking of that little girl. I know. Our, she's here. You can see her little hand down here. Okay. So this has cut and paused. So let me show you in the software what happens. So the machine has paused. And you can see here that it says paused, resume. So first, what we're so we're right here on the pause. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna switch back again. We're gonna unload this. Here, I'll you do it so I don't reach over you. Okay. So everyone can see you. And we're gonna take this one off and put the next one on. and load it in the machine. Okay, then we're gonna go back to our software here and we're just gonna click resume. And it's gonna go to the next color here and cut. And while that's cutting, we can start weeding the purple. I'm going to cut around it first. I like to cut around mine first so then you can save the rest for other projects. Oh, we've got some good tips coming in here. Oh, I almost cut right through it. Control A to select all and then group. Yep. Instead of clicking and dragging if you're a shortcut person. Sorry, Liz. That's okay. Yes, Gen C, you can use a box for saving vinyl. I have a scraps box that is busting. If you have tips for projects using scraps, send them my way. Getting it? Getting it. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay. Some other. I think oh. I, cut, I cut right into the design <laughs> with my scissors. But you can fix that when you heat press it. So, so sorry about it. <laughs> Jeez. Luckily, this is behind, right? The light purple. Yep. So 
So we'll put the dark purple right on over that and uh, <laughs> show you what not to do. We love doing that. Okay, so our purple is done to our dark purple. We'll finish weeding and then we'll move on to that one. Make a little pile over here. <clears throat> It's so stressful weeding vinyl on a on camera. <laughs> I know. I feel crazy. It is so scary. It. Do you guys uh, see that I cut right into the design with my scissors? <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. You won't even know it. You won't even know it. Your pull from right here. Last year for Mardi Gras, there was a bunch of people at my church that wanted me to make Mardi Gras shirts. Once people, do you guys find this? Once people find out that you have a silhouette, all of a sudden you get orders as if <laughs> you're a business, you know? Barbara's nodding again. Barbara, yes. you are the most validating I love it, Barbara. person ever. And we need a lot of validation. We do. So I require it. Really, like, you're speaking our love language That's here. true. Um, sometimes it can be hard to see the lines. I know people use light boxes that will shine through to show where the lines are, or you can put baby powder. I've seen people do and like rub it and it will kind of settle oh, into really? the lines. So you can see them a little well, bit better. And I am also like a little blind. Liz so. is actually super blind. <laughs> Let me tell you this. She got glasses in college, which was hmm, like 12. Sam? Do not put me on blast a lot, like this. A lot of, like, more oh than 10 my years gosh. ago. Betrayal. She never wore them, and she just got glasses again, like, a week ago. And you know what? I can see so well with them that I can hardly wear them because I feel like it's I can't. too clear. Every, I feel like the world's moving. <laughs> like, the world is vibrating, so I'm still getting used to, like, being able to see. This is a true story. Is that crazy? She needs glasses. I didn't know. wear them for at least 10 years. I just don't have time for it. Liz. You know? Oh, my goodness. I don't have time for Elizabeth. it. Elizabeth. Okay, I think I got it all almost. So sorry. Is this a piece over here? Okay. Luckily, this isn't a very heavily weedy project. It's not very interesting. Yeah, okay. and this background piece is good. Okay, so we're just going to do one thing at a time because most of you don't have two people working on this. So I literally have to put my face up to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's because fine. I cannot see it. Okay, it's fine. I am what I am. Okay, it's not going to change. Yeah, it just is. It just is. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're you're comfortable so with that. Sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, my voice just like cracked. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what I did this morning for a lesson. Yeah, I do. I take string and I string it all around the hallway, kind of like Mission Impossible lasers. I think you want that. What isn't that the M? Oh, oh no, that's the outside. Oh, okay, sorry, me. sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I put I put them out like Mission Impossible lasers, and then my kids have to walk through them, and they think it's hilarious, and. Then I, I, I mean, I, of course I had to put green food coloring in the toilet. Of course. I mean, that's iconic. And then um, I had all these shamrocks that I found in like a old party box and I laid them all over like a little magic trail and you would have thought that my kids had just gone to Disneyland. They were just dying over it. I love that about St. Patrick's Day because it's like so much more simple than a lot yes. of holidays. Presents aren't required. But then I feel like my kids talk more about leprechauns <laughs> than they do like the Easter bunny. Uh, yeah, or Santa. Yeah. yeah. Well, not Santa. Not Santa. Yes, let's but not maybe go that the far. Easter bunny. Yeah, exactly. It's so fun. It is fun. And it, yeah, the simplicity. I also just feel like we're still, I mean, I know different people are at different levels of this, but we're still being pretty um, isolated as far as activities and stuff with COVID. And so I feel like anything to change up the day to day is just, they're thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Woo, we did it. Okay, so we have our two pieces here and we're ready to layer okay so we're gonna lay our shirt out we hold that yeah I will. and we're gonna get it in the right spot why don't you okay tell me what that would be so 
right now I'm just going to lay it with both. The carrier sheet for HTV, I guess it depends on the brand, but it's a little bit sticky so it will stick to each other. Oh, I've got some strays. Um, the way we did it, as you can see on our shirts, is we just centered it on this design so it's like an offset. But the fun thing about this is that you can kind of do it how you like. So if you wanted to do it a little to the side, more like a shadow, that would be cute. super cute. Mm -hmm. um, so you can just place it wherever you want. Okay, so we're gonna get it with both of them. We're gonna put it where we want. Do you think that's centered or does it I need to move a little bit? No, I think that's good. All right, we're gonna leave this one here. Now, let me talk about my cut here. Uh, yeah. Because if you've never done something like this before, the great thing about HTV is it comes on that sticky backing that you keep on when you iron it. So it's going to hold it in place, and as you can see, when it's pressed together, you won't be able to even see that slice, which is good if you're an absent-minded <laughs> crafter who can't see, like me. Yes. Okay, so we're going to lift this carefully with it in place and put it on this fancy heat press. We're going to lay it without burning. This is the first time we've used this contraption. We are ironing, so fingers crossed, people. everyone. Send then we're going to lay this crafting thing. vibes. And then I'm going to pull this down. Okay, wow. I'm scared. <laughs> until it locks. And now it's doing a timer. Okay, 12, 11. Okay. So if you have an iron, if you don't have a heat press at your house, you can use a hot, dry iron, dry iron. doing this. Put a dish towel, put a, what's the sheets a that we case. use? Is it Teflon? Teflon, Teflon sheet um, over the top of it and do about 15 to 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh, gosh. Here, I'll hold the bottom. You lift. Oh, no. We have no upper body strength. We get that from our mother. Uh, um, okay. Use a hot, dry iron um, and just watch it. It's a good thing to do is once you get it out to try to see if any of it lifts. And if it doesn't, if it does lift, go back in, try again with your iron until it's sticking. This worked beautifully. That was perfect. I need one of those, except where would you put that thing? I have no, in your That's garage. Amazing. Okay, wow, so we have that was our great. first layer down. Now we'll come in with our second layer. Put it Did where we want. Did you decide right in the middle that you wanted? Well, what's your preference? I don't really have one, okay. I gotta say, but I think that's cute. Yeah, that is cute. Okay. And we're gonna use the heat press again. Okay. It's probably easier to just arrange the design on here than to try moving it, but... Something I like about layering vinyl, I feel like it really takes it from looking homemade to looking like something maybe you'd bought. Uh -huh. I feel like adding that extra layer, like, I don't know, something about yeah. it finishes it really nicely. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Does your heat press top swivel? I don't know. Does it? Does this heat press top, does it top swivel? swivel? I don't think it does. It seems like this guy's just up and down. Uh, do you wash the shirt before adding the design? I would recommend washing the shirt before adding the design. We did it for this one. I grabbed it from Michael's because we really okay. we needed another Help one. Help me. But I would say wash your shirt before just because... <laughs> <laughs> that never, is so hard. You never know what kind of finishes that the fabrics might have on them that might make it hard for the vinyl to stick to it. So always a good idea to wash and dry your vinyl first. Oh. Oh. It does pull out, which would have been easier oh, to lay it. Thank you so much. <laughs> As we said, we don't have one Guess of what? these. This is an education for everyone. <laughs> and we love it. This is okay, collaborative. Okay, Jen, see, look. It does. From here to here. Okay. I'd say that's about mm, a 12 use? inch. Okay, so the question was, again, what do you use on top to keep it from bur burning? So a thin Should dish I turn towel. This off? We put like this yeah. thin like an old pillowcase. You can use um, Teflon sheets that are made just for this kind of thing as well that you can just put over the top. Um, anything that you have that's a, like a thin fabric will work too. Oh, you can decrease the pressure so it's like easier to lift it. Is that what you mean, Kelly? Why do you guys know that? Do you guys have these huge things in your homes? <laughs> <laughs> and why aren't you here teaching this instead of us then? <laughs> and parchment paper. Parchment paper, great Kelly one. Kelly does have a heat press. Kelly, wow. okay, what Kelly, else can what you tell us? What are you making with your heat press? Because you must be pretty serious about it to own that kind of machinery. Maybe she sells shirts or... Well, that's what I want to know. I want to know what she's making. Okay, I'm going to remove this. Yes, and parchment paper works. Yes, yes, yes. Parchment paper is great. 
Mostly uh, shirts for her kids. Just oh, for Kelly, fun. You're a fun super mom, Kelly. mom. Okay, we have this, looks and great. it looks so cute. And you could stop there if you yes, wanted. You could. We, you noticed mm -hmm. in the design that it has the heart stitches in the cutting design. So if you wanted to, you could cut that out of vinyl too. Um, we like to add embroidery and things like that just for texture and personality yes. and things. We've, we've sewn um, on our blog, prettylifegirls.com, you can see some other silhouette tutorials that we've done with a mix of vinyl and embroidery. Sometimes we, we sew right over the vinyl and your needle will go right through it mm -hmm. to add like a different element and make it look more finished. These ones we just did in between the little gap between the two words. But you can embroider right, right through over your it. vinyl because it's so soft. Yeah, and speaking of the blog, if you are new to Silhouette, we have, if you go to prettylifegirls.com, on the right sidebar, there's a picture that says, like, get started with your Silhouette that has all of our, like, basic blog posts and videos. We have with Michaels a 101, 201, and 301 Silhouette video. Um, those are on the Michaels YouTube channel. That but you can find, find them right? on our Getting Started page, too, and that's a good resource if you're wanting to know where to start because sometimes it can be very overwhelming. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so back to our shirt. Oh, the site is prettylifegirls.com. Pretty Life Girls. Terry, .com. thank you. Tell us more things you like about us. PrettyLifeGirls.com. We talk yes. really fast. Oh, oh thank you, yes. McKenna. You're very good at your job. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do for the heart, we're just going to use a little bit of cardstock, and we're going to draw a heart. Or if you wanted to print one, I'm just going to get you one. You can also cut them out with it. vinyl and then stitch over them. Yeah. Because but the heart is going to do it this design. way. And once we like it, we're going to cut it. And this is going to be our little template. Okay. Thank you, Barbara. It did come out good. It came out better than our last. So last week, um, <laughs> you could find it on the Michaels uh, YouTube channel. We made Girl Power um, journals with vinyl. And it is a beginner project, but... We had some issues where... We were cursed. We were. Where on accident, something happened and Sam closed down the software <laughs> in the middle of the class. And part of one of the, the designs we had made, you had to kind of like move things around pretty intricately. And we couldn't... And I had it saved. And it, it. didn't save. So when we opened it back up, there was no way matched. to recover. Ugh. Luckily, we know enough. So we do quite a bit of TV and you just know you've got to have a backup for everything if you're going to be on TV because the worst will always happen. I mean, we've had for us. so many <laughs> for us. things where you have to act like everything's okay. So luckily we had it all recut. But if you found that video, know when you're watching it that we are in full panic. panic. Absolute <laughs> panic. We're so grateful and that Michael keeps we giving us- we collapsed after that video. <laughs> anyway, okay, go on. I'm so okay. sorry. <laughs> So we have our little heart template. I have a purple colored pencil here, and we're just gonna lay it on here and trace it. I did purple because then it would hide bef mm, until I wash smart. it. It would hide. Um, okay. And if you like this project with layering vinyl, but the design isn't your favorite, the Silhouette Design Store, every time I'm in there, I'm so inspired. I can't wait to make something new. I feel like if I'm in a funk, crafting-wise, I can go through the Silhouette Design Store and, like, be lit on Find fire. A I just love ideas. that. And there's so many projects with, you know, cool fonts and sayings and stuff that you can do this exact method with, with that same, with, you know, anything from the Design Store. Yeah, and also, if you wanted to make your own design kind of like this, this, I mean, we don't do hand lettering. A silhouette, very talented silhouette designer did the More Love design for us. But if you wanted to just use, like, fonts and then do the offset, that is such an easy thing to do in Silhouette Studio, to add an offset mm -hmm. and just have your own thing. Okay. 
So we've traced our hearts on here with pencil, and then we're just going to stitch. So we have, let's see, let's pull this out until we get to the light. Allergy season's beginning. I know. Well, I feel like something about when I put a mask on, it automatically makes my nose run. Like, I don't oh, know if it it's does. like pushing something, but we had a mask on until right now, and now I feel like my nose wants to run. But oh, I don't know. I just Will feel like guys? allergies. I know. Bad. Okay. So I just tied a little knot. So we have embroidery floss. We used the full all six threads that come in it. We're not folding it in half completely. We just have um, have a little bit of it pulled through. So now that we're close up, you can see we have the whole thing, a little knot at this end. The thread just pulled through a little bit. And we're going to come in from the back on one of our hearts. And we're just going to do a back stitch. But if you wanted, you could do, if you're a big embroiderer, you could do whatever. I keep looking at this wanting, so we're like super into tie-dye right now. We love it so much. And it's fun to tie-dye your shirts and then do vinyl over them. And tie-dye is such a huge trend right now. You'll see it in every store everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this would be so fun if you had tie-dyed it purple and left some white and then put your design over the top of it. Another thing I wanted to say is um, if you wanted this to really, really last, a stabilizer on the back where you're going to embroider mm, yes. would be a smart thing to do. Uh, we're just going to be I'm super sorry, careful. I'm so blind. I put my hand face right into the camera. I'm going to get closer <laughs> so I can read what you're saying. Oh, sounds yep. like a new class project. Barbara, will you come if we do it? Will you attend? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If yes, you thank you, Barbara. You guys probably know how to do back stitches, but what I did is I just came up, went down, and then I'm going to go out about as far as my first stitch. This way I won't have any gaps between the stitches. I'm gonna go up this way and then down right here. Okay, Liz, Cute. well, you gotta really tell us some stories. Okay, I'd While love stitching to. happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think what I'll talk about is some of my favorite silhouette projects because- oh, yeah. Good idea. Um, so this was our first cutting machine we ever used was a smaller portrait. Yeah, the second portrait. Yes, the second portrait. And that was probably eight years ago or something. So we have a wealth of projects on our blog. Like I said, it's prettylifegirls.com or you can follow us at prettylifegirls. But um, probably my favorite thing to make this time of year is anything that's like a 3D floral. So if you haven't ever done that with your silhouette machine before, um, you can make wreaths, you can make floral arrangements out of, paper. out of paper. You can also use crepe paper, but you'd be surprised with the designs in the silhouette store, the way you can add texture to them and like the, the super smart way that they are um, designed so that you know exactly where to fold it and like that there's different ways that they're able to replicate the texture of flowers. So if you haven't done that before, it is so fun. We have several wreath and um, flower arrangement projects on our blog, but I feel like it's something that not a lot of people know they can do or are We've done to some do. with felt too, if you wanted something yes. that would hold up a little bit longer maybe than paper. Yes, but so fun to make a wreath out of paper flowers or make an arrangement. Um, if you have, if you're like us and you just have a bunch of cardstock in your craft room anyway, and you're looking to do a weekend project, it is so fun. Yeah, and, and they look so I'm pretty. I'm always amazed at how gorgeous they turn out. It's fun because you can also play with color schemes and that sort of thing. So that's something I'm super excited to start doing. I feel like as bloggers, we have to kind of like get one holiday out of the way and then we can move on to the next one because we're creating content for holidays as we go. And now that St. Patrick's Day is over, we can like get out the pastel papers and yes. start making those things. Yes, yeah, so we've been doing lots of rainbows. Yes, Kelly, felt is so fun to cut. You use your um, rotary, rotary blade um, on your silhouette machine. We just made a felt cake topper that's so pretty for like a baby, baby shower, shower or Mother's Day coming up. And we made it all with our silhouette machine with felt and just cut using our rotary blade. And it's so gorgeous. 
Um, if you were wondering why I was looking around here at the Silhouette Studio, they always have the coolest projects. And there's a paper thing up there that is so cute. Oh, They've the, done this paper wisteria it? before. You I should look it up. That is like the most amazing project is this the one ever. You're talking yeah. About here? Like, so these yeah, are like just paper paper leaves, and then they added. It looks like they added the dots with a marker, and they colored know? in some of the things. And it's it's some darker pink papers. Anyway, that's just like one small idea of what you could do, you know, for spring. So pretty. Oh, here's some. They have some felt ones too. Look. Oh, cute. So, so cute. cute. He's gonna show you. There we go. They have so many amazing like, things. Amazing, right? And and really, it looks so complex, but the, like I said before, the way they design them to cut small chunks at a time and then to assemble them is really intuitive and easy to do. Yeah. So cute. So, so cute. What else is uh, your favorite? I mean, we're dying for t-shirt weather right now. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's finally starting to warm up a little bit. Oh, oh you Jen don't have a machine. Okay. So you don't have a machine. If you're going to do the flowers, something that I like to do as a little trick. So we wrote the book for the TV show Making It, if you guys watch that on NBC. And we were able to create all the projects and write the book for that last year. And one of the projects we did was a floral arrangement um, of paper flowers. And we used our silhouette to make it. But something you can do it with the silhouette software is you can you can um, print out the design. So get your floral design out of the Silhouette Design Store, print it out, and then it's like a template for you. So you can cut them out with scissors and then lay, kind of like Sam did here, lay the flower pieces on your cardstock and then you can cut it with scissors. And you can still utilize the Silhouette Design Store for that to get your designs, to get the cool floral patterns, print it out and do it that way if you don't have a machine. Um, but the machine is very easy and I do recommend <laughs> if you can that you get one. Um, can you cut felt with adhesive backing? Have you done that before? So that was something, yes, you can do that. And before they had the rotary blade, that is how it was recommended to cut felt is you would do heat and bond on the back and then cut it with a deep cut blade and that would cut, but the rotary blade is so slick. Yeah, it's great. And I, I think that it would actually have an easier time cutting adhesive backed felt because it, I mean, you would cut it before you took the backing off mm -hmm. and it would make it just a little more solid, but yes. it does, it handles felt beautifully. It just glides right through. And is the rotary blade only for us Cameo 4 and up? Yes. Okay. So Cameo 4, Cameo Pro, and Cameo Plus. And Cameo Plus. Yep. So, um, rotary, oh yeah, thank you, Kelly. Yes, yes, yes. The auto way to have a ratchet, and then you would use a light stick mat for felt. So, you would probably want a deep cut blade, which is a separate one. It just comes out farther than the ratchet or premium or auto blades, and it will get through the felt because it's just a little bit too thick for a regular ratchet blade to get through deep cut and what kind of stick uh, light is probably good I would say or or a regular hold mat that has been used so it's not super super sticky <laughs> we have a little visitor we got an assistant here go okay I can show you how this is coming oops okay I've got half of the first heart done. This is a good little project for if you're like watching a show and you want to have something to do with your hands. So we're about halfway through the first one and it just adds such a fun texture and dimension to the shirt that again I feel like makes it look like less DIY Yeah. because it just seems like you couldn't have done all of that by yes. yourself, you know? I feel like that, particularly when you stitch through the vinyl, it's like, it how finishes would you it. have done yes. that, you know? There's a cute sweatshirt we have on our blog. What does it say? 
make it fun or something. Have fun. Have fun. Or, yeah. Yeah, something and it was black fun. vinyl, and then we did colored embroidery thread through the black, and it looks so really, really cute. cute. It's really fun for a tote bag, too. We did a tote bag um, that we that we stitched through the vinyl on. Um, oh, yeah, the math really one. That one was yeah. so cute. <laughs> How cute is that child? I know. She's I mean, cute, and COVID <laughs> just makes it really hard. And all, I just moved to a new know. neighborhood, so I don't know anybody to watch my children. And Liz is usually who I make watch my kids. <laughs> so, but she's a good girl. What other questions do you guys have about your sew-up machine? And what uh, projects are you going to be doing? I mean, with Easter coming, something I love to do with Easter. If you haven't done oh, this before, I know where this is, is going. Is using Tattoos. Silhouettes tattoo paper, it sticks amazingly well to eggs, and you can use the print to cut feature on your silhouette machine. Get whatever design you want from the silhouette design store. Just like imagine the possibilities. We've done anything you can print, you can put on watercolor florals, and it They're looks stunning. like the eggs are hand painted. It does. So you get the silhouette, you can find the silhouette tattoo paper even on Amazon. We get it on Amazon all the time. I don't know if my, you can get, you probably can get it at Michael's too. Um, but you print it out, print out any design, then you send it back through with the print to cut feature, and then you put it on your egg exactly the way that you would put it on your skin. So you just cut it out, put it over the egg, put a, like a wet paper towel over it, and then peel it back, and it's gorgeous. We have several of those on our blog too. So I wanted to address Jen C. She said that when she washed her shirt that she put iron on, that it came off. So a couple things about that. Um, if you don't have a heat press, then something I like to do with just ironing is after I get it on the front of the shirt, I like to turn it inside out and iron it from the back for a little while just to make sure it's really stuck on there. And, and if after you wash it, it's lifting, you can, you can do that, like turn it inside out and iron it more to re help it adhere better. But that is something that I have felt really helps is ironing it from the back side because it's just getting the sticky part a little bit more with the heat to help it stick better. Yeah, that's a good tip. Yeah. My mat doesn't seem to load all the way. I've had to inch it up to get it to the correct mm. place. Thoughts? I'm mat. wondering if your machine needs like recalibrating. Yes, that? and you know what? The silhouette. Um, the Silhouette customer service is so great. So they have a chat feature. There's also just like a support, like a help mm -hmm. section that has documentation for how to do those types of things. But like, I don't know if you've had issues with like the print to cut and that not lining up, but I'm wondering if your machine needs recalibrated. So that maybe try that and then give Silhouette a call too if you, if you need that help. They're awesome. They, they, I've had so many, I, we have so many different silhouette machines. I recently got the Alta, which is the 3D printer, and the man who held my hand through that setup <laughs> was a true On angel because I didn't know what I was doing, and he was so helpful, and it worked like a charm. So that was great. Um, let's Maybe. see. Tattoos are great. Yes. Yes, so that's what's great about, so she said, um, tattoos are great, you need to cut close to the edge. Print to cut, so you can get the most intricate design that you can find, and when you run it back through the print to cut, your silhouette will go right up against those, and like with watercolor, like how could you do that with scissors perfectly? You can't, and with the, with the silhouette machine, it makes it right up against the edge, so it's a perfect solution to do print to cut tattoos on your machine yes. because so in you don't have store, any edges. So in the store, you would buy a file that is set up to print to cut. And so what it, it essentially does is it has a picture that you print, mm -hmm. but it has the cut lines pre in there. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the and, technical term. Yeah, pre in there. <laughs> and so you print it and it does these registration marks so that then when you put it into your silhouette machine it reads those registration marks and knows exactly where to cut it's magic the edges when it when the machine goes through and finds those marks you're like okay it's so <laughs> spooky cool. kind of spooky yeah. so on our blog prettylifegirls.com if you go to our search bar and put in tattoo eggs you'll find it mm -hmm. and you can find that 
tutorial. Okay, okay you did so one. So we got one heart done. I won't make you watch us do the rest, but you get the idea. And we would just do two more of these, and mm -hmm. it would be so cute. And we just love it. Huh. <laughs> we just love it. Terry, yes, the silhouette support is really, really great. I really mean that because, um, you know, like there's even things like we were talking about today, like with Sam moving and just moving your machine can kind of it's getting shaken up yeah, and all and the they transit. can help you know exactly what to do. And, and sometimes, you know, it's just frustrating to have it eat your vinyl or whatever. And it could be the simplest solution and they would know how to help you. Yeah, so that's great. For sure. So, does anyone have any last questions um, about the project, about Silhouette in general? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, okay. So, we are just so thankful that you joined us. If you make something like this shirt, share it with us at Pretty Life Girls. If you make it, you can also hashtag make it with Michaels. Um, tag at Michael Stores and um, what else? That's it. Be sure to follow us on Pretty Life Girls at Pretty Life Girls on social media channels or on prettylifegirls.com. You can find all kinds of tutorials similar to this one, um, different materials that we use with our silhouette, different um, projects that we've made. We'd love to have you follow us there and make sure that you're following Michael's so that you can see updates about all the different. Um, classes that are coming up. They're so wonderful and make sure and you're following Silhouette. Silhouette. It's at silhouette.inc is the um, handle there. So you can see all the cool spring projects and stuff that they'll be doing. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day.